Hi Taurus, it's thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing really, really well. And for this last week of November, we will take a look at the cards. We will get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance and possible outcomes. I will also choose a couple of Oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. Okay, we have the Five of Swords. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Knight of Cups. <clears throat> Excuse me. So with the Five of Swords, we see the, the guy in the front holding the swords, looking over his shoulder, just about smirking, taking glory in his win. And the other two folks walking away. One looks like they've, maybe they've had enough and they're just laying it down, laying down their sword. The other one maybe looks a little more upset. So there are uh, several perspectives within this illustration. And it goes to uh, that we have conflicts and we have arguments and we have battles, you know, often within our life. And sometimes they're really unpleasant and sometimes they're upsetting. And so... You know, it's always a decision that you have to make once you get entangled in this. How, you know, how are you going to see it through? Are you going to be on top and take these swords no matter what? Is this issue that has come up that you are, you know, mixing it up with? Has this, is this issue so important to you that you need to be the victor? Or is this something that it's really not worth the upset? It's not worth the stress, the, you know, rising flush that you feel when you're engaged like that. And you say, just never mind, I'm walking away. Some people realize that this, you know, sometimes our heated discussions are philosophical disagreements our petty annoyances with each other can, you know, lead to friendship splits or timeouts or decisions to, to stay away. So, you know, relationships are important and there's no escaping that we get conflict and we have arguments. It's just a matter of how you're going to position yourself in it. How are you going to uh, live through it? Are you going to come out on top? Maybe it's something that's really, really important to you. And you feel that this is, you really have to make your point. So an interesting card, particularly with the gray skies and the rough waters behind. And it certainly is indicative of, you know, there's never just smooth sailing while every day is, uh, is, you know, amazing. We do have these rough patches and we have these rough patches with the relationships or the office relationships or our marriages. So with this sense of conflict here, here we have the Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands indicates fast moving events or decisions, rushing. There's a rush here. And, you know, just the first thought that comes to mind is that in the U.S., Wednesday is often a day of travel for the holiday. And here the wands are traveling, the, the wands are moving it out. For many of you, uh, you, may be, you may be communicating, you may be communicating with loved ones about travel plans. So there's the communication here, text, phone calls, emails, you know, whatever, whatever it may be. So think about your communication. Think about how you're speaking this week and particularly in light of this conflict or the potential for conflict. Wands represent passion. It may re represent news coming in. It may be an opportunity that you have to respond to quickly and make a swift decision. There's also a thinking here though, you know, this is fast moving is to, sometimes we have to make swift decisions, 
but there's a difference between making an informed swift decision versus a rushed decision. So just keep that in mind as well. Travel, communication, perhaps news coming in, um, and uh, with, the, with the wands, we, we, it's just a lot of activity. It's a lot of things going on, a lot of projects in the air for you. You may feel very busy and very obligated and a lot of things to do this week that you have to check off your list. And then we have our loving Knight of Cups who come into the reading. And this Knight of Cups is very, um, very interested in the nature of the relationship, which is how we act within a relationship. And I feel that he's here to help remind you and us that how we treat people with tenderness, with kindness, with caring, with love is very important and not to lose sight of that. And so here, this is a romantic, dreamy energy for some of you, maybe you're on travel, maybe you meet somebody. If you're single and looking, if your eyes are open, if you're ready to receive, maybe you have that attraction. Certainly the Knight of Cups could represent that. For others, it's, again, it's a nice, gentle encouragement to focus on relationships, on the love within your relationships, to show extra care to someone, to be maybe more supportive to be proactive in a friendship, to offer forgiveness or kindness if there have been harsh words exchanged. So the Knight of Cups is simply a very loving, romantic, dreamy, you know, offering the cup to you. Here's my, I'm offering my cup. And, and I always love that his, his um, helmet is, is raised. You see his face. He's looking right at you, holding the cup. So I focus on your relationships, the gentleness, the love, and the, and the tenderness that you provide to a relationship. So let's take a look at what we have in terms of numbers. We have 5, and 8 is 13, and 1 is 14. 14 reduces to 5. 5 can be about challenges. Adversity. It could be about new cycles happening. Um, also a sense of having to be flexible and adapt. And then finally, let's choose an oracle card for an affirmation for the week. I'm sorry for the day. Don't relinquish your power. One of my favorite statements, one of my favorite affirmations, don't relinquish your power, which is power can be shown and demonstrated with good decisions, with walking away when necessary. So, you know, it's a nice, um, it's a nice, idea to think about, which is your own personal power and the gifts and the talents that you have. Don't surrender them. Don't let people shade you or do whatever it is. You know, you have to have the strong belief within of your own personal power, your gifts, your beauty, your love. So my friends, I hope that you have a wonderful day. I wish you the best. I thank you for your time. Subscribe, like this video, share this video, comment below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.